welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the sine of negative t. If that equals 3 fifths, how to evaluate for the cosecant of t. So the first thing we need to remember is the sine um, is an odd function, meaning that if I evaluate for the sine of negative t, then I'm going to get negative sine of t. Those are equivalent statements. So first of all, what we need to do is also understand is how cosecant and sine are related. Well, remember, cosecant and sine are what we call reciprocal identities, meaning, or reciprocal functions, meaning that cosecant of t is equal to the reciprocal of as 1 over sine of t. So to evaluate for cosine of t, I need to be able to figure out what sine of t is. Now, I say that sine of t equals 3 eighths. So if 3 eighths, we could say 3 eighths has to equal negative of sine of t. Well, that means that that sine of t has to equal a negative 3 eighths. Because if negative 3 eighths times a negative is going to become a positive, which equals my other positive 3 eighths. Now, if I have cosecant of t equals 1 over a negative 3 eighths, to figure out the rest of this, I just invert it, uh, multiply by the reciprocal. Or you could just say flip it over and end up what you get is over a positive, or I'm sorry, a negative 8 thirds. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you identify the cosecant of negative 8 thirds, or cosecant of t when given the sine of negative t equals 3 eighths. Thanks.